สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a and today is Tuesday September 26th and you're watching Phuket Extra brought to you by pbcphuket.com A new heavy weather warning has been issued by the Thai Meteorological Department, which forecasts more heavy rain and heavy downpours along the Andaman coast, including Phuket Province, from Wednesday through to Friday. The warning issued by the TMD Director General at about 5 a.m. on Monday morning marked that active weather systems across the region will see the southwest monsoon strengthen on the Andaman Sea. The heavy to very heavy rain may cause flash floods, especially in areas of mountain slopes, near waterways, and in low-lying areas. People were also urged to exercise caution in open areas, especially near large trees or large billboards or signs. Wind waves in the Upper Andaman Sea are expected to reach two to three meters high and more than three meters high in thunderstorm areas. The Phuket Marine Office has, for days, repeatedly issued its notice to all boat operators to ensure all of them to comply with all safety regulations before putting the boat to sea. Phuket was battered by heavy rain and strong winds heading into this past weekend that felled four large power poles on the p a t o n g to k a r o n route that partially blocked the road. It took about three hours to clear the road and resume traffic. Friday's heavy rains resulted in major flooding in p a t o n g rendering many roads impassable for small vehicles. Streets such as Ratute 200P Road, Nanai Road, and Sainamian Road were among the worst affected. First responders were called in to assist people, including evacuating elderly residents and children. To safer places using boats. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. r e w a t Arirob, the president of the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, the PPAO, has refuted claims made online that his office has spent 50 million baht on building the road over the hills from c h a l o n g to p a t o n g r e w a t s comments came at a press conference held on Monday at the old provincial hall on n a r i s o n Road in Phuket Town, which is now used by the PPAO. That's when it was repeated that the p a t o n g c h a l o n g Road was a project launched as an immediate response to the landslide on p a t o n g Hill in October of last year. The PPAO and the Office of Natural Resources and Environment worked together to create the new road, and that c h a l o n g Municipality and p a t o n g Municipality jointly applied to the Royal Forest Department to allow the road to be built where it crosses RFD land. However, officials cited a claim made on social media saying that the PPAO had spent 50 million baht on building the road was untrue. In refuting the claims that the road cost 50 million baht, the PPAO issued a statement on Monday that stated, quote, "The total amount was 905,862 baht, of which 808,500 baht was for fuel and 97,362 baht for crushed stone." The statement went on to say, quote, "In addition, the Phuket Highways Office supported the project by providing asphalt, concrete, road surfaces. Other government and private agencies also supported the project in various parts." This is the first time the PPAO has publicly revealed any financial figures related to this project. The road was built under a budget of quote tens of millions of baht after Phuket Governor n a r o n g w u c h e o last October declared the landslide on p a t o n g Hill a disaster. In declaring the landslide at p a t o n g Hill a disaster, it allowed access for officials to the Provincial Disaster Relief Fund to pay for road improvements to alleviate the impact on essential traffic traveling to and from p a t o n g Phuket's main tourism town. Phuket's standing disaster relief fund has long been reported as 50 million baht. Phuket MP c h a l o m p o n g s e n g d i earlier this month vowed to raise in Parliament questions about the construction of the road, including road damage and the cost-effectiveness of the project, as he described the road as "quote hardly usable." For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Two people are lucky to be alive after their delivery truck slammed into a power pole on Tepka Satri Road early this morning, beside the northbound exit of the Bangku underpass in k o k e o The accident took place at about 3:30 a.m. this morning, about 100 meters before the k o k e o post office. Rescue workers arrived to find the delivery truck still beside the power pole with heavy damage to its front. The two people inside the truck were injured, one with facial lacerations, while the other suffered an injury to his left leg, along with face and head injuries. Both were taken to Phuket Mission Hospital for further treatment. The driver of the truck, however, a 52-year-old Thai national, was not injured in the impact. He told police that the three of them were returning from delivering goods to convenience stores in Phuket Town 
when he admitted to having fallen asleep at the wheel just before the crash. Police have yet to determine what charges, if any, the driver would face. He was taken to Phuket City Police Station to be tested for alcohol. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Region 8 police have opened a joint operations center at the Phuket International Airport in the name of providing security for tourists. Police officials opened the front operations center over the weekend. The new center is the result of the combined effort of Phuket International Airport officials, the TAT, Immigration Police, Tourist Police, and a plethora of other police agencies on the island. Other than regulating taxis, exactly why such a security center was needed was not explained. Immigration officers have their own center at the airport, and Saku Police are already entrusted with providing police officers at the key tourist facility. And countless tourists have already been provided invaluable assistance by officers and personnel at the Tourist Assistance Center, created years ago by the Ministry of Tourism and Sports. The opening of the new police center, marked by a sign emblazoned airport security center, came as leading tourism figures arrived at the airport to welcome Chinese and Kazakh tourists coming to Thailand under the new visa-free scheme approved especially for tourists from these two countries. For more, visit thepukanews.com. Thanks so much for joining us today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.